Welcome back to Keeping Up in Disney, but not at Disney this time. We are at Cabana Bay, which is a universal resort. We've been here for like two days so far. We're staying here for five nights and we're super excited and it's been really great so far. So we're really excited to be able to kind of compare it to a Disney resort too through our stays, be able to give a recap kind of on the pros and cons, differences between Disney and Universal. And this resort is just huge and there's a lot to check out. This resort is all like 50s retro beachy vibes themed and it's amazing check out that shot of the entryway and you can kind of see over there is like the diner and there's just so many fun details it is a massive resort there's so much to see so we're gonna get into all of it I do talk about this quite a bit throughout the video otherwise as well and all these kind of different things separately but before we kind of dive into the tour I did want to give like a full overview of what Cabana Bay is, kind of a layout and I say it all throughout but it is a huge resort. The layout is a little bit confusing at first so I really wanted to start with kind of a look at the map and where we're gonna kick the tour off from and just the layout in general just to kind of give an overview first and then throughout different parts of the tour I'll throw on the map with like you know a little starred portion or zoom in to kind of where we're at to give you know a little bit of a directional sense while we continue going through the tour but this is direct from the universal website so i'm gonna put the photo up kind of what they show for cabana bay universal's cabana bay beach resort is actually a universal prime value resort and it says it's retro fun for everyone which is definitely the vibe that we got too and you can enjoy vibrant retro style rooms and suites brilliantly designed for fun and affordability relax with a splash surrounded by amazing iconic architecture inspired by classic florida beach resorts of the 1950s and 60s. Sample a variety of options in the incredible food court. Every day comes with fun for all ages with two massive pools, a winding river, a bowling alley, and more. And then so on top of that also just for staying at a Universal Resort you always get early park admission to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So for us that was like Islands of Adventure so I got onto Hagrid's pretty quickly. So it's like up to an hour before the park opens which is nice um, so you do get that at Cabana Bay which is awesome. And yeah we love Cabana Bay so a quick overview of the map too and zoom in now because kind of where we are is right outside of the lobby here and then I'm actually going to be starting down at the parking and you'll see in just a second kind of where the parking lets in where you can go in but what I also found out was that there are multiple parking entrances so the one that was more accessible and easy for us in the beachside tower was actually going over to the left when you drive in so there's a parking gate here and then there's also a parking gate over here on the map so this is kind of where you'd pull into the other side and then there's tons of parking for cabana bay like if you're staying in the americana you'd probably want to park over on this side there's a parking garage here and then over here is where like the volcano bay entrance is and then it wraps around though and you can drive up to by the beachside tower and there's another parking garage up here so it was actually best for us to park back here because we could walk right to our tower and there's just tons of parking all around and then they're actually back on this other side from the turkey lake road side you can enter right here as well and there's two parking gates like one over here leading you to this side and then one here so you can get over to like the continental the beach side or wrap around a bay side in the americana but so if you're staying at cabana bay it's kind of good to know where the parking entrances are if you're driving because if you're staying at like the continental or the americana or any of the towers you'll definitely want to park on this side so you can use one of those entrances instead and if you're staying at like the castaway starlight or the thunderbirds you'd probably want to park over on this right side so kind of when you pull in you can know directionally where the best place for you to park at is and there's yeah there's tons of parking all around though just it's a it's a huge parking lot for all the buildings but yeah you can pick one closest to your building so then when you have to go places it's just a quick jump out from the 
the car. I mentioned I was gonna start at the parking, but then looking at like the lobby um, and everything, that's kind of all what's inside of this central, you know, like semi-circle building, which you'll hear me say quite a bit too throughout the tour. And then the pools and stuff are on the sides as well. But you've got like the lobby in here, the lobby bar, the gift shop, the diner, the Starbucks, the shake shop, they're all inside of here. So that's what we're gonna be checking out. And then to the sides, you've got the buildings and this is kind of like the main pool with the cabanas and the slide over here and three of those buildings around and then on this side you've got the other pool which has a lazy river and then you've got two of the longer buildings the continental and the americana and then they lead out to the towers which have the volcano bay view rooms so that's actually where we stayed in those towers because over to the left here then kind of off on the side would be where volcano bay is so if you're going to get a volcano bay room you're going to be over on this side kind of by the lazy river courtyard this side actually though is the closer entrance to walking to the theme parks which I'm also going to try to throw in the video of when I did walk to Universal and City Walk because the walk was super quick and beautiful. I think that'll be kind of nice to show as well just so you can get a feel for if you did want to walk there. And then I also in this tour too I do show the entrance to Volcano Bay so you'll be able to see how easily accessible that is from the resort but yeah really really big resort really nice prime value having the two pools two pool bars and grills, the diner, Starbucks, bowling alley, fitness center, arcade, so much more. It's it's incredible. So we hope you enjoy the tour. I'll kind of give an overview too, showing the map that they gave us when we first checked in, and then we're gonna go check out every area. Oh, and this right here is the little map that they gave us when we checked in. So it kind of shows you a layout of Cabana Bay, and she drew on it and circled some things and wrote some times and stuff, so that was really nice. And how to find your room, so it shows you like, the first number is your building number, second number is the floor number, third and fourth are the room number. So we are building eight floor number five, room 12. Then you can see too, this was where we checked in. So she kind of showed us directions of how to get there, circling around the Bayliner Diner, going down all these hallways and out to the beachside tower. And then this is the Lazy River Courtyard Pool and she wrote the hours nine to 10 and kind of gives an overview of everything here. And you can see like Adventure Way, the entrance to Volcano Bay. Here's kind of where you would walk to the theme parks that connects you. That's the main pool, nine to 10 as well, and everything there. And then it also has down here, some of those numbers that show kind of like a legend in the key for what they are. And if you look on the back, it has those zoomed in views of the first floor of the lobby, showing like the diner, Starbucks, the gift shop and everything. And then the second floor too, with the fitness center, the arcade and the bowling alley. So that's really, really nice. They do give that to you when you check in and kind of explain how to get to your room because it is a massive resort and is kind of confusing at first. Okay, so Cabana Bay is located on Adventure Way, kind of by a lot of the other Universal resorts. You can see the Aventura over there and then here's Cabana Bay, but I'm starting here to kind of show this detail because I think it's important. And when we got here, I was a little confused, but pulling in, here's where you'll kind of come in and you can go straight up to the lobby there to like check in or drop your bags or whatever but also if you have a car and you're parking you just turn right right here and this takes you into the parking lot where you can get a ticket and then kind of go up to the lobby park your car and then you don't really need the ticket because if you're staying overnight your room key acts as that ticket to get in and out of the gate so it's really nice and I found that out oh way in the back I can actually see VelociCoaster that's crazy I can see the top hat so from where you park to then we're gonna walk up to Cabana Bay and this is kind of heading towards the lobby and the lobby has like the diner, the Starbucks, a bunch of other stuff in it, the fitness center and the bowling alley on the second level. So we're gonna see all of that and then kind of walk around to the different buildings and sections and then we do have a room too. So here's the lobby. And it's beautiful, it's huge. Definitely got the retro colors. and fun little details like that. And that is the check-in desk. And then straight ahead, you got more of the buildings to stay in and the main pool, which has the cabanas. And here's the Swizzle Lounge, which is actually a bar in the lobby, like directly across from the check-in desk. And then also next to the Swizzle Lounge, there's the gift shop, which we'll check out, and a vacation planning center where you can pick up your tickets. That's actually where we grabbed our tickets for Universal yesterday in the morning. So here's the gift shop. It's really fun, let's check it out. Of course, you've got Harry Potter merch. It's fun seeing stuff in gift stores that's different than the Disney merch, because I actually do really love Harry Potter and stuff too, and a bunch of other franchises, so it's fun to see different things. I actually really like the Platform 9 and 3 quarters hoodie. That's cool. 
This stein is really cool too. Just so much merch. Oh, the snow globe is so cool too. In case you want a memory of seeing Hogwarts Castle in the Wizarding World. And all the plushes. I actually, last night I bought Jamie this Hedwig and it's so cute. It, I didn't know this when I bought it, but it's a puppet, so you can put your hand inside of it and turn its head around and it makes squawking noises. There's a lot of cute ones. I was deciding between for Jamie, I was either gonna get the Hedwig or the Gryffindor Lion. And I really like these mugs too, they're really cool. Yeah, there's so much Harry Potter merch. It's really cool. Some keychains, pins, but yeah, lots of Harry Potter stuff. We're gonna keep on with the tour. Okay, but Christmas Harry Potter stuff too because it is almost Christmas season and things are starting to get decorated. We smelled all those candles last night. I think our favorite was the Frosted Pines. And there's a bunch of Universal merch too, just for the studios. Jamie bought this shirt last night. Oh, these mugs are really cool. And I think it's for the studios, or maybe here, I don't know. Yeah, no, you can bring that into the parks and drink all day, and I get a souvenir tumbler. They have so many fun universal pins. I actually think I'm gonna get this one at some point. That's one of my favorites. And then there's a Velocicoaster pin that I want. Oh, and of course, Cabana Bay merch. I love all this. I wanna get something Cabana Bay themed too. Maybe like a pen or, I like the towels actually, but the gift shop is huge. And you got Minions, E.T., Jurassic Park stuff, everything. Oh, I didn't see that Grinch pin yesterday, but I think I'm gonna need the Christmas Grinch pin. I guess Grinch is always Christmas themed, so I just the Grinch pen, but yeah. Simpsons. In the back there, you can see the Starbucks too through there, but we're gonna check that out next. This is the other hoodie that I think I kind of want. It's $47, it's a Jurassic Park hoodie. It's just kind of basic, but I love it. And Dr. Seuss stuff. It's really fun. Oh, is this just a Florida Spirit jersey? This is really cool. Did not see this yesterday, but I actually really like that. Okay, so I walked back. I'm gonna continue from where we were when we entered the shop so you can kind of see continuing along the way. There's some windows showing some of the stuff inside there. Ooh, I do like the Galaxy Bowl shirt too. And then straight ahead, there's this really cool staircase which leads you to the second floor. It's beautiful. This tree is beautiful too. I say that every time me and Jamie walk past. And then you got the Starbucks, and it looks like a really nice Starbucks location. Actually, we're gonna go check this out because there's mermaid walls. These are so cool. There are like restaurants and places in Florida where they do mermaid swimming shows, and this is just so cool. And Starbucks has like a mermaid logo, so it's fitting. But it's really cool. Jamie wants to take like a photo here. And here's that fountain and staircase from the side, like in the Starbucks. This is so cool, I didn't even notice this decoration. It's coffee cups, and it's a really nice Starbucks. Super cool. I might get something there, I have a Starbucks gift card, we'll see. And then right past the Starbucks is an elevator to go up to the second floor too, some bathrooms, and then I noticed this detail, so like through this wall, oh, you can actually see it. through these little holes, that's the Starbucks, but then look, I think they did this for Christmas. They filled some of the holes with red and green beans. That's so cool, it's such a fun detail. So we're just continuing along this big circle route. If we look back, that's like the gift shop, and it's just kind of a big loop that goes around in like a semi-circle. The diner is here on the right, so let's check that out. There's tons of food and options in here. Oh, I'm actually carrying my Cabana Bay Resort Cup that we got the first day we got here. So here they sell them and it'll kind of tell you, but you can, it's a refillable souvenir cup similar to the Disney ones. We did the length of stay package, it's $19 and then tax, and that gets for all the days that you're staying here to refill any drinks from the Coke Freestyle machines. You can do it for three days, two days, or one day though, and it's a little cheaper, so. There are the red ones currently, and there are ones with green lids. They're Christmas themed. It's got some grab and go options, bakery items, sandwiches, kid stuff. Here's the s'mores kits for making those by the fire pit. A lot of other stuff, chips. Oh, they do have icy machines, and she actually did tell us that these are good for the ices too, which is nice. And then you've got the grill, which has like burgers, hot dogs, and other things. The tastes of the world. I got the jerk chicken and mashed potatoes last night, and it was incredible. 
They've also got other stuff too, like tuna, General Tso's chicken, and then a pizza and pasta section, and this actually will deliver to your room until midnight too. You can order the pizza whenever. Looks really good. And then a delicatessen, which is like wrap soups and sandwiches. And Jamie got housemade chips from there, and they're really good too. And in the center, there's a salad bar, which is cool. Some pre-made salads, fruit, dressings, things to get. Now, here's where the green cups are. I'm like on the opposite side. And you can see in the middle there, there's the salad bar and stuff. There's a frozen yogurt bar too, which I need to try. And then they got more snacks here, grab and go stuff. A whole drink section with bottled beverages and cereals over there. Okay, yeah, this is cool. So they've got strawberry lemonade, chocolate, and vanilla right now. And you grab a cup from here, you fill it, you bring it up, and then they've got toppings for you too. That's so cool. And look at this, they have a margarita combo bucket. It's 30 bucks and it comes with margarita, margarita salt, and two margarita glasses. That's kind of fun just to bring out to the pool. A few other things. It's really nice. Oh, I guess they did still have some regular Cabana Bay ones too, but I'm happy with the Christmas ones. I like that. There's some candy and things, another s'mores kit, and then this is kind of what it looks like as you walk out and check out, and then you get to the huge seating area. The diner is massive. Look at this. It's so open and airy and light too. It's huge. It's just incredible. And then over there on that side, if you keep following the wall, actually I'll go that way. So that's where we walked in the diner. There's the seating area, and we're just kind of continuing along the semicircle windows. And if you go this way, you come up to the Shake's malt shop, which is really cool. So we're gonna walk over and check that out too, and then we'll kind of check out the seating. And I might actually do my refillable mug to get a refill and kind of show how the freestyle machines work too. But it's cool, they play cartoons here, look at everything. It's so fun. And yeah, Shake's. I actually got banana pudding ice cream last night, and it was fantastic. And this is open till midnight. I think Shakes is actually fairly new, but check out this clock too, that's so cool. They play cartoons everywhere, it's so cool. So they have them in Shakes too. They've got like bakery items, the hand scooped ice cream, shakes and malts of course, sundaes and splits, some floats. They actually do have adult milkshakes too. They look really good and lots of good things. So maybe I'll try something else another night and I can throw in that clip too, because I for sure want to get something again. The banana pudding ice cream is so good. You can make any shake of malt too, which is a huge bonus. And then that's Bayliner again. So looking into the seating area, it's huge. There's so many seats. And here we've got some condiments, different things. Honey, mustard, honey and mustard, honey, mustard, salt, pepper, jellies, jams, whatever you need. And then a bunch of these like freestyle machines, coffee, tea, they do have hot chocolate too over here, which is really fun. And then they either have the normal fill machines that work, I think, till like 11 p.m. And then they told us that the freestyle machines are open 24 seven, so you can fill whenever, which is nice. This is a very minimal thing, but it is something that I noticed. I just wash my mug, and the mug washes here actually have handles, so you can control the spot. At Disney, they're always like automatic, and they're, they don't read the cups well, and it's really hard to actually like wash out your mug. So I kind of prefer the little handle here. Okay, so you have to set your cup on the thing so it reads it, and then I'm just gonna go with Coke for now, but with freestyle, you can do whatever, and then. There we go. Okay. And I know I showed the cup prices before, but I'd say it's pretty well worth it wherever you stay because singular drinks are so expensive. So if you're going to be drinking a decent amount, definitely do it. So from the diner, like if you're looking out that way, that leads to the pool kind of by our building. And then over there is the where you got the food. So on the right there, that's where one set of buildings goes and then they kind of go out straight that way. 
and then this is the other buildings, like the Americana, that go out that way. So that's kind of where the buildings are. There are two different elevators and walkways on each side of this diner, that way and that way. When we checked in, we were a little confused because we had to wrap around the diner and go this way, over to there, and then walk all the way down to our tower way out there. So definitely get familiar with the map a little bit. I'll try to make it easy to understand too, so hopefully when you're staying and checking in, you can find your building or room quickly, but yeah. So we actually had to go this way and then go that way. So you can kind of see. It says Continental and Beachside and we're in Beachside Tower. And then over there is like the Americana and I think the Bayside Tower maybe. So that's kind of where you'll go if you need to get to your rooms. But before we go any further and show those buildings or pools or anything else, we're gonna finish showing all the amenities and a couple details I wanted to show and highlight that are super cool. We're back out by the big Cabana Bay thing, kind of on the other side of the lobby now, by where the Bayliner Diner entrance is. And then just look at this. These cars are always parked here and they're like retro cars. They're so cool. So you're not supposed to touch them and it says what they are, but they're just parked to add to the Cabana Bay vibe. There's so many cool ones. You got a Thunderbird, an Imperial. And then while I'm out here too, I wanted to highlight, you can see the arrow there pointing you to the bus stops. Cause right over here, this is actually where the buses take you to Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, City Walk, and it's super nice and convenient. Every time we've had to get on a bus here, they're here within like five minutes or waiting and have been really quick. And the bus ride to City Walk and everything is really short too, so it's been really convenient. And got some things here showing a layout of Cabana Bay too, some Universal stuff, and then also shows the weather. And it's so hot today. It's a high of 87, I guess, but it's so sunny and I've been burning. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna turn back. You can kind of see way back in the back there. That would be the lobby Bus stop arrow thing is in front of us Cabana Bay entrance in the fountains and then like left behind this wall Like if we could see through this wall That would be like shakes and then straight into the Bayliner diner seating area and everything and there are also Directional things to show you where you're going to if you get confused But so like from the bus stops the quickest way to get to our room is actually to take this little path here and kind of route through the pool actually which is interesting good help with the directions here but also okay more things I'm highlighting I thought this was really cool too there's actually a special entrance just for like a resort guest to get into Volcano Bay so it tells you where that is and then you come with your room key and Cabana Bay is right next to Volcano Bay like that's why they have the Volcano Bay view rooms so you can just walk to Volcano Bay from here check in and you have a special entrance and it's amazing okay so we're back by the retro cars we're gonna go in by like the shakes. And then we're gonna turn, go back around the semicircle actually to that staircase by the Starbucks because there's a lot on the second floor that I need to show. Okay, so we're back here. And we're gonna take the staircase this time so you can check out the second floor. All the decor is just so beautiful. I love all the big windows. Our room has big windows too, all the rooms do, I think. I love the lighting fixtures and everything. And wow, okay, look at this already. Arcade, bowling alley, fitness center. Let's go check them out. Some bathrooms right outside the bowling alley. Some really nice seating areas. It's kind of a look back. Just look at all the lights and everything, it's so fun. And then we're gonna turn. So again, we're like kind of following the semicircle, but on the second floor now. So down there is the travel counter and we're like above the gift shop. And here's the physical fitness studio. And if there's no one in here, I'll kind of try to show it. So let's check it out. We gotta, this is difficult. Okay, I got it. Wow. <laughs> it's massive. This is the craziest resort gym like at a value resort too. I don't think I mentioned it yet. This is a universal prime value resort. So these rooms are really cheap too. They're really good prices, especially for the Orlando area. That's kind of why we're staying here. And it's massive, look at this. Just a really nice floor to do whatever on. And there's all this Jack LaLanne stuff. It's like a shrine. Check it out. This 
is so cool. And a huge surfboard. Okay, let's find out what's up with the surfboard. Oh, but we got more stuff there too. It's really cool. Oh, I guess Jack paddled the custom made balsa wood board 30 miles. Wow, that's crazy. It was made for him by Jack O'Neill of O'Neill Wetsuits. This is a replica. Wow. Wait, but it was made by Jack's son, John Lalanne. It's incredible. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna head out of the fitness center, but it's this is fantastic. Like I am so impressed by this fitness center. It's incredible, wow. And this is still on the second floor outside of the fitness center. And actually, if you look here, leading out there, there's a bridge that takes you down by like the main pool, which we're gonna check out next, and all the other buildings. So you have an easy access ramp to the second floor with the fitness center, bowling alley, and everything. So that's really nice. We actually have a similar bridge on our side too that walks you up to the second floor too. Super cool. And oh, right through there, you've got a peek and see check-in area and lobby, so that's what we're right above. That is the Swizzle Lounge. And then we're gonna turn around and head back towards the other things. So you can see the vacation planning, the main sitting area, central part of the lobby, and we're kind of turning around the semicircle, following the wall. We're gonna pass the fitness center and go to the bowling. So here is Galaxy Bowl, and you do need reservations to bowl here. I think you can walk up and make them, or they might do them through like a QR code reservation site that you can scan, but there aren't too many lanes, so it is kind of reserved, but they've also got a restaurant here. And check it out. Look at all the food. Mini pretzels sound so good, cheese curds, ooh, a steak sandwich, ooh, mac and loaf sandwich, that sounds crazy, a grilled meatloaf patty topped with mac and cheese, ribs, it all looks really good actually. I think you need reservations for the restaurant too, but here's some of the prices. So you can kind of see, not bad. So if you have one to two people like me and Jamie, we would bowl for 45 minutes and it's 18 per bowl, 18 per bowler, so it'd be like 40 bucks. It's really cool. Oh, and yeah, the reservations, you can walk up and book them and you can do them through Resi and using the QR code, so that's really good to know. It does feel like a bowling alley walking in, this is cool. Got your shoes and everything, the lands. Over here there's even a bar, wow, bowling alley bar. Wonder if they have cool drinks here. I don't know, it just has menus too, maybe you can order food at the bar, that would be cool. And they're playing some cartoons. Oh, and then there's a door from the bowling alley that leads to the arcade, which we're gonna check out next. This is really cool. And it's got such a fun retro vibe too. Look at this. Here are some of the tables for like seating if you were gonna eat at the restaurant and get food along with your bowling. But like, Cabana Bay has an amazing fitness center, the Starbucks, gift shop, bowling alley, arcade. It is incredible and it's prime value. Really good prices and it's huge. This is so cool. Okay, so Galaxy Bowl is awesome to have at a resort. And then from there, we're gonna keep going this way. Okay, so below us is the diner, and kind of we're like on top of Starbucks almost right there with the stairs, and then Galaxy Bowl in the fitness center, and then turning here, this is the arcade. And as we saw, there is a door that connects from the arcade to the bowling alley, but this arcade looks massive. I haven't even walked in yet, but I saw it from outside, and I was so impressed. There's so many games. Oh, I honestly think I want to come in here and play some games. Ooh, could I win the giant dragon? I don't even think I'd be able to take him back. They have the Wizard of Oz game. Jamie's gonna freak out if they have the Willy Wonka one. These are so much fun. We always like to play these. There are so many games, this is crazy. I need to come in here. And they have a prize counter where you can win prizes. That's so cool. So let's see. $40, you get 160 credits plus 30 bonus, so 250 tickets. Oh, okay, I guess. I don't know what that means. What are the other prices? 120 for 480 credits plus 120 bonus. Okay, but the cheapest level is $25 that you can get. It looks like you get 110 credits, so 
That's kind of what it shows, but got some cool looking prizes. I'm really interested in checking this out more and kind of playing some games. Okay, what is this? This is crazy. It has like a digital screen over the actual physical game. I don't know why that looks so weird. Okay, it's kind of cool though. So I'm gonna go from Galaxy Bowl and walk this way actually because I think the next thing I want to show is the main pool But I might take that little bridge down From the second floor to see where it connects to then we'll kind of walk around the main pool and talk about what they've got there Because so Cabana Bay there are two pools the pool by us has a lazy river The main pool has a slide and cabanas and then each pool has a pool bar and grill with food and drinks Which is incredible and then there's also hot tubs at each pool and all of the amenities that we just saw So that's right outside the lobby if you're walking to the main pool a nice shaded seating area And then I just walked out from by the fitness center and I'm gonna take this bridge So you get some beautiful views of the pool and everything while you walk down too and so over there, it looks like that's where you got the Starlight Building, where some rooms would be located. So if you're in the Starlight Building, you'll be kind of by the main pool, off to kind of like, if you walk out from the lobby side to the left, straight ahead is the Thunderbird Building, and then to the right from like the lobby check-in counter, if you walked out, is Castaway. And we're almost on the bridge, so we're gonna walk around and look at this pool and the pool bar and grill here too. I just love like the way that it says the buildings. I don't know, they look so retro. Okay, and I guess there's a Flamingo Park ahead. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna find out. The pool bar here is called Atomic Tonic, and I think the one by us is the Hideaway Bar and Grill, so we'll see that too. Oh, and then you can also, you can, you can walk to the theme parks. It's like a 20 minute walk, but you can. You can totally do it if you want. So that leads into like Atomic Tonic and the pool bar. I'm, I'm just so interested in whatever Flamingo Park is. Should I check it out before I see the pool? Okay, we're gonna locate Flamingo Park. So these rooms too are more like motel style where they open to the open air. You can see like all these buildings, which is kind of what we're used to at like Pop Century Art of Animation. But our building is actually a tower. So it's kind of more like hotel style. Like we're enclosed. We've got an elevator up to our room and then we walk around the floor. And one thing I noticed while I was walking is that it looks like each of these buildings too do have like ice dispensers and then some vending machines. So just in case you needed a drink and didn't want to go back to the lobby, you could grab something quick here and pay for it. But these cups too, actually you can refill them at the pool bars. So there's one like two minutes from our room. So it's super nice and convenient for that reason as well. I don't think this is Flamingo Park, but I found a little table and it looks like there might be more because it has a number one on it. So I'm thinking there's probably more where you can stop and they have checkers and it says that you can stop at the pool bar to grab the pieces and come sit over here and play. So nice, these are just located kind of off from the buildings. Fun little details, over by us too, they do have a bunch of like sand beach games. There's some ping pong, some giant tic-tac-toe, and a couple other things, so I'll show that later too. I'm on the hunt for Flamingo Park. Oh wait, I see it, I see the sign. What is it though? So it looks like Flamingo Park might be right by the Thunderbird building. And here it is. Wow, it's a park. We've got a tree, some nice shade, and a little pathway to walk through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna confirm, I'm gonna look it up if this resort is dog friendly. Maybe this is like a place to just take your dogs out. I don't know. But oh, here are the other checker areas too. So that's really fun. And you can see, looking over to the main pool there, which we will check out. Some more signs showing you where to go. So ahead again is the Castaway building. Way behind the Castaway building in the back there too, you can see the Aventura Hotel. And the, the sign shows you, you can again, walk to the theme parks if you just keep going straight this way. Looks like they got some really nice seating areas just over here too. Nice open grass area. Well, it looks like turf, but... It's called the Beach Pavilion. It's right by the Castaway building. And then I think this is where you'd go if you were like going to the theme parks. You'd walk out kind of that corner area. I did map it on my phone just to see how far it says the walk is. It says 17. I've heard other people say like 15 to 20. I guess we'll see how long it takes me. I typically walk pretty fast. You can see the time, it's 9.23. But I'm hoping I can be there by like 9.45, we'll see. It's like the end of Cabana Bay, leaving to the theme parks, it's 9.25.
basically already here, so it is 9.36. I made it in like just over 10 minutes. But the beach pavilion looks interesting, it looks pretty cool. I don't know what you'd really do there if they host things there or what, but it looks nice. But it is pretty busy, it's like midday, it's like 2 o'clock, so I'm not going to show too much because there's a lot of people out, but you can kind of see the pool, it's got a huge slide there in the middle, well not a huge slide, but a nice one. Big pool area, and on the side there you can see the cabanas that you can rent out. So there's like an example of an empty cabana, and I think they do have TVs in them and everything even, so that's really cool. You can rent those, I'll, I'll get the prices and I'll throw those in here too. And there's a really nice look at the main pool with the slide coming out of that structure with platforms. Oh, and they do have a sandy area over here too with ping pong and some games, so that's really nice. And then kind of across straight from me is the Atomic Tonic Bar and Grill. It really looks like those should be like platforms to dive off. And this pool is called the Cabana Pool because this is where you can rent the cabanas. Our pool does not have cabanas, but it does have a lazy river. And no slide on our pool either, on that side. Check out this bar and grill. Look at how big the bar is, it's really cool. And then let's check out some of the food. They do have drink filling stations here too, which is really nice for the cups. And it looks like they've got, ooh, gyros, pizza, sandwiches, quesadillas. It actually looks really good, wow. I kinda wanna try a gyro, it sounds amazing. And then a couple like grab options there too, that's really cool. It's a nice, nice little grill for the pool. And then some condiments of course. And here's the Atomic Tonic Bar as well. And they, all the drinks at these bars look amazing. And that's so cool. You can get them in a souvenir cup and then get cheaper refills. That's pretty even. More sandy areas, more cabanas on this side too, and there's the hot tub. And we have a hot tub too. And then we're gonna keep walking around and heading over to kind of our pool area and the other building is on our side. I think to get to our side, I'm actually going to take the little bridge back up and around the second floor because it's a nice little walk. And I might just take the bridge out on the other side where it pops out by the Americana and the Continental buildings. So we're going to make our way back up and head over there. I just like the little like circles on the outside too and everything. I don't know. All the details, just all the vibes. Okay, so passing fitness center on the second floor. The lobby is down there. I'm going to circle my way around and then I'll update over there. So also right past the arcade, they do have a rec center. I don't know what they do in here, it's the Fun in the Sun rec center. And so this is kind of right to above the Bayliner Diner and looks out. It's an incredible view actually. You can see the full seating area there. Shakes is over there in the back. That's the side that would lead you to the Americana Tower. And then over this way is like the Continental. But yeah, just a really cool look at the seating area too. It's so nice. Seating areas up here on the second floor too. There's a lot of just nice spots to relax and chill out around Cabana Bay. And then these doors here, kind of right by the diner, are the ones that are kind of this bridge leading from the second floor to the first floor that connect you. And outside of the lobby, or outside of the diner too, between the diner and this pool, there's a super nice seating area too with fire pits where you can do the s'mores at night. And I just love all the trees and foliage as well and it just makes you feel like you're in like a super tropical area. And that's a look back at the diner. So those are like the curved windows on the one side. And then, so over there, Americana building, Continental building. And again, I just love the big windows. And this is a cool detail too. There's little like blue circles built into the paths here. And it just, I don't know, it feels retro and fun. And then check this out. That's a look at the pool on our side. So that pool is like two minutes from our room and is so nice. And all of the sandy areas with the seating, there's so much seating. And this pool again does have a hot tub too and a lazy river at this one. Okay, so we're making our way down the bridge still. And this will kind of tell you where you're going to. All the trees are just so cool, look at this. And so this would lead you into the pool. I'm gonna kind of walk ahead to show the buildings again first, and then I'll go to the pool last and show all the things over there. And then we'll kind of cap it off with a room tour and anything else that I maybe forgot, I don't know. I usually try to be very thorough and show all the details and give a good idea of the layout of the resort, kind of walking around what it feels like, how to orient yourself, because I feel like that's usually pretty helpful. So this here again is the Continental Building. 
It's got multiple sections with like elevators and doorways to walk in and enter, so you don't have to go to one end or the other. It's kind of nice and convenient in that way. I think this actually leads you up. The pool bar here has like a second floor seating area, so I think that's just a direct little bridge from the outside to take you up there is really nice. I'll show that too. The pool bar here is super nice as well. That one's the hideaway. We'll see it. And ahead of me, that's the beachside tower. So that's where we're staying. And this is kind of like our little walk where we go to get to our room and tower. And again, it's so nice and close because we come down that tower and then right here we have all these little beach games if we want, like the giant connect four, the ping pong, and then the hot tub is right there too like right ahead, so it's like two minutes from our room and the pool bar right over there is like two minutes. We'll show it, don't worry. We're gonna go back by the tower. You can see like Volcano Bay in the back there. So our room is like on the other side of this tower and we have an incredible Volcano Bay view. And then if you walked here, this is again another way into the Continental Building there. And then look right there, Volcano Bay. So you have such a nice entrance, nice way to get there. It's so close from Cabana Bay, it's so convenient. And having the views, like our Volcano Bay view room is incredible. The beachside tower is really pretty. We're staying here. There's actually something I want to show in here, so we're going to go in. This is what I wanted to show. Our tower has its own game room. So I actually haven't even looked at it yet. I'm gonna go in and check it out now. Okay, we're in. So those are the elevators that take us up to our room in the tower, but we're in the arcade now. And they have prices listed here too. And I don't know if they just didn't have these options listed at the other one, but they were still available. And they only had like the deals listed, but they do have smaller amounts here that you can load and play. So you can only do, so you can do a minimum of $5 for 30 credits, 10 for 60, 20 for 140. So you get 20 extra credits credits on that $20 one or ball out a little bit you can get the $50 for 400 credits which at that point too that's a solid deal if you're really looking to stuff it up because at this price point that would be 350 credits but you're getting the 400 so you get 50 extra credits at that rate or you can double up and do even more and then you get an extra 200 credits on top of that so with each level you go up you do keep getting better value it seems but you can do a minimum of five and there's a few games in here it's obviously nowhere near as big as the main main arcade but it's really fun that they even have this like how cool is that you can come down from your room and just play arcade games like right out of the elevator oh i want to win some candy i want candy i want candy i want candy whoa this is interesting it's like air hockey that you play against yourself or against someone else with like bouncing walls i don't know interesting it looks like too i don't think here you probably can't like obviously redeem any prizes but i would hope that the points you win here from things could go onto the card that would then redeem points in the main arcade but i don't know a lot of these more look like prize winning games so you probably don't get points you probably just get the prizes is the idea but really fun i'm honestly really wanting to play some arcade games now so maybe we will at some point but just again so nice that they have this in here like right outside of our elevators how cool is that oh and we also haven't even checked this out too it looks like in the towers so our tower there's also the vending laundry and restrooms we don't really have a need to do laundry because we're not here for that long but oh here's a nice map too we're gonna do right now we're gonna recap everywhere that we've seen at Cabana Bay so you can get a feel for it. Okay, so we're gonna look at everything we checked out so far and recap. We actually started at the shuttle bus, so that's number two on the map, like right outside in that, right there is the big bowling pin that says Cabana Bay. And then one is where we walked into the lobby, so that's the lobby in there, and then that leads out to the main pool. We circled around, inside of there is like the gift shop, the Starbucks, and then right over here is Bayliner Diner and Shakes, just like across from the lobby there. And then, again, Continental Building and Americana branch out from there. But after that, we circled back and we went to, here's like an inside look of the lobby and everything too, so you can see better. There's where we walked, that semi-circle window, the stairs, we went around to the Bayliner Diner, checked out floor two to see the bowling alley, fitness center, arcade, and then we actually went out on that little bridge, you can see right there in the map leading over by the Starlight Building. We walked around. That's Flamingo Park back there. I know that now. All the checkerboards went around. 
This is where you'd go out to go to the theme parks from that corner there. So that back corner there. And then that's the main pool at the slide, the cabanas, Atomic Tonic. And then we circled back in to the second floor here. And I cut along the fitness center around here on the second floor and then came back out by the Bayliner Diner up here and then took this bridge, walking down between the Americana and the Continental and then walked down, 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 past the pool bar. And now we're here at our beachside tower. So I think I'm gonna check out probably the Bayside Tower, maybe like walk along the Americana, check out the pool, the Lazy River, the Hideaway Bar and Grill, all the things over there. And then I think that will have covered most of Cabana Bay, hopefully. Okay, so in our lobby too, we haven't, we don't really plan to do laundry, but they do have it. So they've got bathrooms here and the laundry area if you need to use it. And it looks like it's all just by cart or Apple Pay or whatever and through like a QR code. Oh, and right to the side from the laundry and these restrooms in the tower, there is some vending here too, just in case you need it. So that's really nice. We could come down and get this in like 30 seconds from our room if we needed a drink. And normally they would have laundry materials, but unfortunately it's out of order. So if you needed to do your laundry and didn't bring stuff, you'd have to probably go to another tower or something, or maybe like the main gift shop. They, maybe they sell laundry stuff, I don't know. There's some snacks too. And I'm not checking out our room like right now, right now, because I think I mentioned earlier that it's a little messy and we have to kind of like make it, but we do have clips from the first day and I'll definitely throw a room tour in here for sure so we can show like the full room and our Volcano Bay view, but I'm just quick stopping back at the room to grab some stuff anyway, so. I figured I'd show like the elevator and what our floor looks like in getting to our room because I mentioned it's not motel style. So you've actually got like an interior hallway. The vibes in here are great too. Look at all this retro stuff. Jamie always says like the carpeting and stuff kind of reminds her of the All-Stars. The All-Star Resort's at Disney, but I like the colors and everything. I love the blue and orange. And so here we go, we're in, a t we're in the tower. So these over here, they're all kind of the Volcano Bay rooms and got ice on our floor if we need it, super close. And then we turn and we're right over here. So this is our room, just right kind of located. Like you can tell that it's circular walls because it's a tower. You can actually see it in the room shape too and everything in the windows. So really, really cool. Let's, I'm gonna just show the Volcano Bay view at least for right now. Okay, just a few quick things while we stopped back. Here's the headwig that I got Jamie, and you can see he's a hand puppet, so he can turn his head all the way around and stuff. He's really cute, and he actually makes noises. Let me try to get him to do the noises. He's really cute. The lighting is terrible, but headwig's adorable. And then, this is what I wanted to show too. Well, we're quick stop back. Wowzers, look at that. And okay, so I, I've been watching this like all morning. We actually, like, just imagine. Okay, so the bed is right here. I'm sitting on the bed. You wake up and you look out to a volcano and it erupts sometimes and squirts out water out the top and it's crazy. So, okay, a couple things we spotted since we've been here because we just like love watching out the windows. Like we could seriously just sit here all night. At night, the volcano turns purple. It's incredible. We'll show that. We made it. Check that out. We're at Cabana Bay. But okay, a few cool things. Watch this. If you zoom in on the volcano, actually in the middle, and it's like a drop slide, and so all morning I was just watching. Every once in a while, you'll see someone go down the drop slide. Let's see if we can, oh, there someone went. Did you see it? I'll try to catch another. But it's so crazy. It's so crazy, just watch. There you go. I hope you could see that on the video. It's so cool, but also like if you zoom out, it looks like that's just part of the volcano's waterfall structure. And I didn't even notice there was a slide in there at first. And it's so crazy just seeing someone funnel down there and it looks like they're going down the volcano's waterfalls. It's, it's crazy. And the other slides just built into there are so cool. And okay, here's what Jamie found this morning. We're gonna turn a little this way, turn a little this way, turn a little this way. Do you see it? Do you see what I see? Well, hopefully you will. We gotta look way out between these palm trees. I just know to look between the palms now. Hello, Spaceship Earth. Isn't that crazy? So tonight we're gonna have to look and see if we can see like it illuminated. If we're ever in the room at nine o'clock, we could probably see fireworks around there, but 
it's really far out, but that's Spaceship Earth. It's like from our window. Let's go all the way back. Just looks like a little blip in the distance. But how cool is that? Spaceship Earth is between those palm trees. And then, also over here, that's the, that's the wave pool down for Volcano Bay there. And then in the back, you can see the Icon Park slingshot. That's that structure right there. So we've been seeing a ton of people doing the slingshot. It's really cool to see it lit up at night and see people going up and down there. And then this is like the giant swings at Icon Park too, like the Star Flyer swings. So they go up and spin around and they light up too. So our view is incredible, really cool view. So we've got the slingshot, people going down the slides at Volcano Bay, the volcano erupting and squirting water, all of these other slides, this view, Check that out, look how close we are. And then in the back, Spaceship Earth, way, way out there between those palms. And again, we'll do like the full room tour and show the room, but just wanted to really highlight this view right now and kind of how cool the beachside tower is. So here, before we head out, here's another full look at our Volcano Bay room here at the beachside tower of Cabana Bay. So you can kind of see a layout of the beachside tower itself here as you enter the door and then got your light switches here. Nice little entry area where you can put some bags or other things if you want coming in. You've got a nice little closet on the side with some hangers and iron. There was um, extra pillows and blankets up there. We use them. And then ignore the little bit of mess left. We are kind of in the process of packing, but walking into the room, you can see Volcano Bay straight out there. But then if you turn this way, we've got our bathroom and the floors are really cool. It's got like this cool tile with different colored stones in it. And I like all the blues and whites and really nice mirror here, nice lighting. They do give you the Zest bath bar and the VO5 shampoo and cream rinse and then nice sink area. They actually have a shelf underneath the sink too for storage if you need it. And the rooms do have a hair dryer for you. So that's nice. And then coming into the bathroom, got Pretty standard bathroom. The shower's pretty nice. You got some shelves on the side, a towel hook over here, and then this door actually closes too. So you can enclose just the bathroom and shower portion when you're in here. The shower water pressure is pretty good. It's not like the best, but it's not bad. I'd put it like right in the, the middle. But yeah, really nice bathroom. And then actually to this door, the one that closes, it has like the full length mirror. You got a mirror there and like a full length mirror there, which is really nice. And then we're going to turn back. So from the closet and the bathroom here, when you look up, here's kind of the main area of the room and you've got the two queen buds. There's Jamie. We're just waiting to leave. So we're about to get heading out. Really, really cool art on the walls. That's like the retro vibe. Each of these lamps above the buds, like there's four of them. You can turn on both the top and the bottom individually, so a lot of good lighting options. The backboard of the bed is nice, it's like orange. These beds are really soft too and really nice. The pillows are really nice too, fits the vibe. You've got outlets over here by this bed. Light switch here for the main lights. You've got your temperature controls over here. Here's the door for if you had the conjoining rooms and then Here's like the main space on the side here. We've got the mini fridge, which is more of like a chiller. Really nice to use in there. The TV, it's a pretty nice TV. And then these are actually, this is one of the pool bar refillable mugs that you can get refilled drinks for $12. So those are really nice. And a lot of drawer space here. Super, super nice. Nice little sitting area. You got a coffee machine, a little lamp. Over here is actually the only place where you have USB plugs without the like, you know, the need for a socket. So that's really nice to know. And then, yep, table sitting area to kind of just relax, have some food, breakfast, whatever. At, and check that out. We've come across the volcano. And I really do love like the big tall windows. A lot of the rooms at Cabana Bay have them, but it's really cool. And I, I kind of like the, the style of these tower rooms. Like this end of the room, since it's a tower and it's circular, this end, like, from here to there is a lot wider than let's say like here. 
to here because the room gets a lot more narrow as you go since the building is kind of like an oval shape like it realistically if you look at this like it's thinner here and it opens up kind of as you get out towards the wall so you can like see it in the curvature of the room because it goes with the curvature of the building but that wall is really big and wide and opens up and it's really nice and yeah two queen beds super nice between the beds you've got two more outlets there on each side your phone service for cabana bay with all the different hotlines and things you'd need and then you got a shelf under there and a drawer for whatever you need to. Uh, one thing we did notice was that there isn't, you know, like space under the beds to store things if you wanted, but which we do always like, but the room's pretty big, so you don't really need it. And two more outlets on this side. So it's a really, really nice room. We have really loved staying here and having this incredible view. It's been great. Okay, so we're making our way back out of the beachside tower. There are three elevators in these towers, and they always come really quickly too, so never really waiting. And in the elevator too, it does show you some of the stuff at the resort, kind of an overview. Like they got the Bayliner Diner, shakes, both bars and grills at the pool, the Swizzle Lounge that we showed, the Lobby Bar, the Starbucks Galaxy Bowl, and the pizza that comes to your room that I was kind of talking about. Okay, leaving Beachside Tower. I think I'm gonna walk over just to, to show where Bayside is. I probably won't go in, because it's probably pretty similar, but again, so on the left is like the ping pong and stuff, and then Volcano Bay right there behind that wall. Both pools are currently open till 10, which is pretty nice, so fairly late. It would be nice if it was like 11 for the hot tub, but yeah, that's the hot tub right through there as well. And we're just continuing straight. You can see the Bayside Tower in front of us, and that's the Americana building, kind of the end of it. I actually cut through the pool area, kind of from the Beachside Tower, and I'm gonna walk through to by the other building. You can see the sand area is so nice too. And right across there, that's the bridge that connects up to the second floor that we came down before. Continental Building is over there, and straight ahead of us is the Bayliner Diner. We got the Americana Building, and then turning, you can see the volcano out behind us. I do like that our pool, you can see the volcano in the back there. That's a really cool shot. And Jamie's laying out over there, and then on the left of me again is the Americana Building. Same thing, has little inlets where you can kind of catch the elevators or get into your building quicker. And we're just gonna keep walking this way till we get to the Bayside Tower. Check that out check out this pool, the Lazy River, the bar and grill here, and then I think that should be most of the Cabana Bay, so we'll kind of close it out from there. I love all this rock work. You can kind of see the Lazy River there through. So we're walking along the side of it. And again, it just feels so cool walking around here. All the plants and the rocks and everything, the sounds, the volcano in the background, and the retro vibes. Towers do look really cool too. Like I really like how our beachside tower looks. It's cool that we're staying in one of the towers. Some more directional signs to help. A nice look at the lazy river there with our beachside tower in the back there. We're gonna keep turning and try to get to the bayside tower. I don't even know exactly how. Oh, looks like we just go right through here. Okay. Okay, so beachside tower, volcano bay is like there. It's the Lazy River. That's where I just came out of by the Americana. And it looks like if you keep going this way, that's where the actual resort guest entrance for Volcano Bay is. So from our tower, it would be so close. If you were staying at Bayside, you'd probably like literally be right by the Volcano Bay entrance, which is really cool. So we're just gonna walk down to the end here. Kinda cool how the roadway goes underneath Bayside Tower. Looks cool. And yeah, this looks really nice too. It looks pretty similar to our tower. Just like a little bit different layout. The inside by the elevators actually looks really cool. I kind of want to check it out. It's pretty cool. Do they get a game room? I'm not sure. Let's see. Luggage carts. Cool decorations. Vending and laundry. But nope, they don't get a game room. So that's where I just came from. That is the Americana building, like the end of it. Over there, that's the Aventura. The towers here actually kind of look like the Aventura, but the Aventura is just bigger, taller, and a bit cooler looking. But look at this. So right from the Bayside Tower, right there. That is the Volcano Bay entrance. How cool is that? Like, check this out. I'm gonna go walk up to it. It's like two minutes from our room. Like, it would be like two minutes to walk into Volcano Bay. If you're staying at Bayside, you could probably get here in like a minute. Look at this. I'm literally at Volcano Bay. What? They do have like metal detectors. They're gonna scan you and check your personal items. But look at that, how crazy is that? 
But if I had a ticket, I could just walk into Volcano Bay. That's crazy. And so you can see the outside of the Americana building, the Bayside Tower, the kind of driveway that goes under it, and a ton of parking for Cabana Bay. Seriously though, how convenient would that be staying at Cabana Bay and going to Volcano Bay right there. You could go back to your room whenever during the day if you wanted to grab things to head out. You could walk back over here to the pool bar and grab some stuff or whatever. Spend the day, you know, kind of break up your time. And then on the other side of the resort too, you can also literally walk to Universal. So it's pretty crazy that it's a prime value resort that has all of these amenities and is walkable to all of the Universal parks. Every single one. Volcano Bay, extremely quickly. Universal City Walk, Islands of Adventure, like 20 minutes, not bad. Okay, so there's the Lazy River. This is kind of where we were before. We're gonna walk over here towards the Beachside Tower again. And then I'm gonna walk into this pool, kind of show it off, check out the bar and grill here, show that. I think that's most of Cabana Bay. If I missed anything, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Also, as always, let me know what you thought of the resort tour. What do you think of Cabana Bay? We think it's pretty incredible. We've gotten kind of used to the layout now, but it was very overwhelming and big at first. So definitely be ready for that. We highly recommend it. I will say we booked these rooms a little bit late. Like we booked them like last week, two weeks ago, and it was $170 a night for a Volcano Bay View room. And we couldn't find anything in Orlando, even that cheap. Disney resorts were like $500 a night for anything that was even available. And we've been having an amazing time and it, it was at like budget prices. So you really cannot top this. And it's it's been amazing so far. Actually just gonna head into the pool from here. So to get into the pools, you just doesn't seem to be working. All right, I'm gonna go to another door. So we just walked in from by our tower. We're by these beach games and I'm gonna head to this pool entrance and we're gonna go in and check it out. So that's like another walkway up to, I think the top of the pool bar and we've got the games on our right here. And I think this is called like the Lazy River Courtyard for our pool. There's the towel grab, towel return, hot tub over there, it's super nice. And then right over here is the hideaway pool bar. So I'm gonna check this one out too. We've actually gotten some snacks and drinks from here already. They've got like wings here, nachos, chips and salsa, kids cheeseburgers, hot dogs, and they also have like a original Honolulu hot dog, some burgers, shrimp tacos, looks really cool. And then I got a fill machine and you've got tons of seating here and then over there is the bar looks really really nice again so much seating i love the vibes like of this one all the stone it feels kind of like a little grotto and let's walk up and see what's up here i think it's just more bar seating but i actually have not gone up here yet it might have a cool view of the pool as well well this is so nice check this out it feels like a hideaway tables and chairs to sit on there's another fire pit here and instructions for how to turn it on and yeah, in the back we've got the Continental Building, our beachside tower, Volcano Bay, and check it out, here's the Lazy River Courtyard Pool. See the Lazy River in the back there, there's the main pool, and then over there is like all the beach sitting areas and the Bayliner Diner. So that's so nice, and now I'm going back down the stairs. We're gonna go over by the pool bar, where it looks like they've also got tons of frozen drinks and other things to get. Really nice, super cool theming as well. More seating areas here and it walks right up to the pool and everything over here which I'm not going to show again too much because it's really busy but it's such a nice pool. I will show the lazy river though because you do have to pay for tubes so that's the last thing I want to highlight. I'm going to go over there. And so to the left of the pool bar and grill and it's like the hot tub there's a kids fountain area and they do also have bathrooms and like locker rooms which is really nice. And then we're heading over to by the Lazy River area. So you hop in there, you can get a tube here. Looks like the tube shack is open till six and they only take cards. There's some of the tube prices. Just so you know. Or I think you can bring your own tube too, but then you do keep those tubes. Like you own it, you don't have to return it. You're basically just paying for the tube. So it could be a souvenir as well, but really nice. 
There's also another spot to get in the lazy river, more towel returns. This is the other side of the pool and then I'm gonna go find Jamie. The pool has like a really nice like zero entry where you can just walk in and then all this sand and seating and then behind that is the diner. So it's so nice. Look who I found sitting in the beach area. And Jamie has been out at the pool so she can give her review on how it was. How is the pool? How do you like the pools here at Cabana I love Bay? The pool. Yeah, it's so nice. It has hard grounds. And Jamie I got did the get dragonberry one. And this is one of the frozen ones, and so you can get refills for twelve dollars, right? Yeah. How is that? And I like it. It's like a Starbucks cup, like the Starbucks cups, but it has a top on it. That is really nice. So I just stuck a. Yeah, I'm gonna probably get one too. I'm kind of excited to try one. I think I'm gonna grab one of those refill frozen cocktails from the hideaway bar and grill as well. Just to relax now after finishing this tour. And again, I hope you enjoyed. And if there's anything I didn't show or you wanna know about, let me know. So I grabbed one of these here too for the hideaway. And it looks like, I think the drinks are different, but the one that I'm most interested in, I want either the lava colada or the raspberry lemonade, but I'm thinking a frozen raspberry lemonade. The cocktail sounds so good, so I might go so I actually just grabbed one for myself too. I do love these refill cups. They're really nice. Double walled. They feel kind of insulated. I got the raspberry lemonade. It's like lemon vodka and raspberry vodka, then with raspberry and lemonade, and then blended and frozen. It's amazing. Highly recommend. And then $12 refills in this cup. Can't beat it. We are right by the pool bar. What other prime value resort has all of these amenities and so much to offer? I don't know. Cabana Bay, that's it.